our environment is changing ever more rapidly. Plus, our entire answer to that is E3. Designed to ensure maximum availability, tested under extreme conditions. The HTW 100 E3 is the future of overhead line construction. Cold night in Vienna. The HTW 100E3 hybrid motor tower car on a regular job on a construction site. This is when the machine proves its worth. Thanks to its detailed design, it has become a reality. The industrial design stands out a mile. Here is something completely new on the track. It's my pleasure to present this innovative machine to you. Despite its busy schedule, it's been made available for our visit today. The HTW 100 E3 is a revolutionary machine. We fitted this large machine with a working drive that's powered fully electrically, using the latest battery technology. This has two major benefits. Firstly, the machine emits no CO2 when it's working, simply because the diesel engine is not used. And secondly, it emits a lot less noise, as the diesel engine is not running. The time has come for this revolutionary drive technology. The most important benefits for the machine operator are less fuel consumption, and therefore less refueling required, less cost for servicing and machine maintenance, and above all, the ability to win more contracts in the future thanks to the zero emission and noise reduced working operation. Placer and Toyra have plenty of experience in the construction of overhead line vehicles. Since the early 1980s, the manufacturer has been active in this sector. Railway administrations and construction companies all over the world have been using these machines successfully. The HTW is, however, the first with an all-electric drive. This is tremendously important at night, in residential areas and in tunnels, to name but just two examples. The capacity of the batteries is designed for two six-hour shifts. But what about their endurance in extreme temperatures, for example, in the winter? The battery units are located here in these hermetically enclosed cabinets. The critical point is their optimal operating temperature. It determines performance and service life, and is situated between 25 and 35 degrees Celsius. It's just like your mobile phone. Forget it for a couple of hours in your car in the winter, and you lose part of its performance. And the conditions of use for the HTW are much more extreme than for a mobile phone. Its high-performance batteries need to be between minus 20 and plus 40 degrees Celsius to deliver their full power. But how is that possible? The technical solution for the batteries of the HTW comes from here. We're at the Chrysler Electric Company in Upper Austria, and next to me is one of the managing directors, Marcus Chrysler. So, what's the secret? Thermal management. It allows us to control the temperature of each cell to keep it within an ideal range when the outside temperature is between minus 20 degrees and plus 40 degrees. Here we have a lot of experience in such an application, and are very proud to use it for this product. To verify this thermal management system, the HTW had to be subjected to the ultimate endurance test in the RTA climate and wind tunnel in Vienna. Let us say, straight away, the machine passed all tests with flying colors. In extensive scenarios, the border areas were simulated and numerous functions in the vehicle were checked. In the climate and wind tunnel, snow can be produced at the touch of a button. And a short time later, 
it could be melted in desert-like temperatures. Despite these extreme conditions, the machine worked perfectly. But how realistic are such extreme scenarios? I put this question to Christian Weitersberger, head of Plus and Teurer's design office, where the machine was constructed. He knows the product specification inside out. Yes, that's true. It's not at all unusual for overhead line machines to stand in the open, out of use, for two to three weeks at freezing temperatures. Should there be problems on the overhead lines, these vehicles must be able to operate at full power immediately. With these wind tunnel tests, we can supply the customer with practical data from just such situations. This reliability is of course an essential parameter for the machine operator. Yes, because this machine scores with its redundant propulsion system. This means that the machine is also fitted with a diesel engine. With this diesel engine, the machine can travel at up to 100 kilometers an hour to the site where it will be used. As soon as it arrives, it can be switched over to electric drive. If for any reason it's not possible to use the battery power, the diesel engine is available as a backup. This fail-safe arrangement saves at least 15,000 euros per year in penalty payments, thanks to the redundant propulsion concept. In 10 years, this is 150,000 euros. Another much greater opportunity for rapid return on investment is the zero emission and low noise operation. This makes it possible to increase the contract volume by 10%. With 400,000 euros in sales, this means 40,000 euros more per year. So in 10 years, a 400,000 euro increase in contract volume. The greatest potential for savings, however, is the much lower fuel consumption. 100,000 euros less energy cost is possible with approximately 200 working days per year. In 10 years, this is 1 million euros cost saving. And in addition, 100,000 euros less refueling costs. So, there's a lot of money to be saved by using electrical power. The second major topic in the site operation is the noise at the work site. This is almost always found to cause annoyance to people living nearby, even more than to the operating staff who can generally protect themselves with appropriate measures. Damage to the overhead line can occur anytime and anywhere, even at night and in residential areas, such as this job in Vienna shows. Then the noise emissions from construction work will receive increasing attention. Therefore, the machine completed a whole series of noise measurements, which determined how much the noise level was reduced when operating in battery mode. The tests were carried out in a tunnel. There are, of course, no residents here, but the noise exposure for the staff is usually very high. Mr. Weintersberger, what results have you obtained? We found in tests that the vehicle was more than 20 dBA quieter than a conventionally driven machine when working while stationary. In fact, the workers talking on the work platforms are the loudest noises coming from the machine. If the vehicle moves between locations using the electric drive, you only hear a whisper. Here too, our results have shown that the vehicle is over 10 dBA quieter than comparable diesel-powered machines. And so these are no longer needed. We see the course of its development. The HTW had to pass a lot of tests in order to be able to gather as much experience as early as possible. But how does the situation look from the point of view of the machine operator in practice? Today, building contracts are almost always placed with international procurement specifications. Tender criteria must be strictly followed. The HTW 100E3 is able to meet the ever-increasing requirements, and the most important are today noise protection and a CO2 reduced energy balance. And these are precisely the strengths of the HTW. Thus, in future, the operator will get the jobs that are connected with such higher requirements.
Presented for the first time at the IAF in 2017, the HTW 100E3 has become a standard in overhead line construction. Emission-free, quiet and safe, the HTW 100E3 meets the requirements of the future.